I am a fan of journaling. I think that journaling can save your life. And I'm saying that because journaling saved my life. Journaling is simply just getting out a pen, pencil, paper, and writing freely. Write whatever comes to mind, whether it's quotes from your favorite song or movie. Write your thoughts, write your ideas. If your writing turns into a drawing or uh, math problems, who cares? Like You don't have to control it. You don't have to grade it. Journaling, again, saved my life. If it was not for journaling, you would not know me. There's no, I couldn't even tell you where I would be at, what kind of person I would be, what my life would be like if I didn't have the ability to journal. And the beautiful thing about journaling is it's free and you can do it everywhere. You can do it at two in the morning. You can do it at two in the afternoon. You can do it with your breakfast, with your coffee. You can be on a walk. And if you really want to journal, you can pull out the notes in your phone and journal right there. Journaling is always available. So what I recommend and what I suggest is if you're going through a hard time, any type of tough time, journal, write, write your poems, write your songs, write your ideas. You know, I'm not going to sit here and tell you to write a book. I, I've been seeing people say that. They're like, oh, you're on quarantine. You should write a book. Writing a book is not easy. And if you're stressed out and you have a lot going on in your life, it may not be easy to do. So I'm not going to give you that advice. But I am going to tell you to journal, journal, just just write at least maybe say two times this week at the minimum. And if you feel called to do it a third or fourth time, do it. If you feel called to do it 10 minutes a day, do that. Personally, I journal. I don't track it. So, you know, these numbers are just whatever. But I probably journal two to three hours a day. But also I'm a writer for a profession, so I'm writing you know, two to three hours a day. And I look at that as journaling. Um, if I'm if I'm thinking of writing that I never share with anyone, that is probably about an hour a day of just writing my own thoughts, ideas, stories, songs, poems. And then it's practice, you know, and then writing that I share with other people, that's usually two to three hours a day of working, whether it's working in a book or working in a project writing different scripts for videos. Uh, I do some writing for some different companies and some other people, I do some writing for people. So I, you know, I'm writing every day and it's something I, I genuinely enjoy. I genuinely enjoy it. I love to, that it allows me to express my thoughts, the way I feel, what I'm going through. I love that I can also be creative and come up with creative concepts. Also like if I'm going to the store, I like making a little grocery list so I know what I'm doing. So writing also helps me stay organi organized. You know, I write my goals every morning. I write my goals for the day. What do I want to do today? What do I want to accomplish? Who do I want to be today? Who do I need to call today? What do I need to follow up on today? So writing, journaling, writing, man, it can save you. It can save you. So if you're going through it right now, keep going through it, but start writing about it. Start writing about it. Writing will help you. I promise you. All right. I hope you continue to free your energy, my friend. Free your energy.